let's solve this using the second method welcome back to my channel we have already solved this using a method okay it's i posted it earlier so you can check that for you to see the method i used to get the value of our cd okay this is d all right now let us use another method so the second method The second method um permit me to clean this i actually need all the spaces that i can get i can get okay <laughs> so let me clean this so that i can extend my maximize my space so the second method now remember that in a circle of center o all right and you have a tangent a b if you draw a straight line from the center of this circle to the point of contact between this tangent and the circle you are going to form 90 degrees okay all right now if you look at this diagram you will notice that we have a tangent this c d is a tangent at this point to this circle center o center a okay so this is 90 degrees similarly we have this here another tangent and a straight line from the center of the circle to its point of contact so this is also 90 degrees now we have an angle here and another angle here vertically opposite which shows that the, the two angles are equal so if we call this particular point point e you will believe me that a c e and b d e are similar triangles right they are similar because they have what 90 degrees 90 degrees and they have common angle that they share all right now if they are similar then remember that the corresponding sides of similar triangles are equal their corresponding sides sorry the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal now look at this ac corresponds ac corresponds to bd right corresponds to bd then ae corresponds to eb right ae here is our a corresponds to eb then also ce corresponds to ed now where am i driving at this simply means that if i say ac over bd it should be equal to ae over eb all right we should be equal to ce over ed now we need to get the value of cd which simply means that if we can get the value of ce and the value of ed if we add the two together we are going to get the value of cd okay so everything what we are doing now is that we are trying to get the value of ce and ed and once we get two of them we add them together to get the value of cd so cd is equal to ce plus ed so let's leave it that side then let's continue now what is our ac our ac is two and our bd is five is equal to now ae if we say let e b that is from here to here if we call that x if we call here x remember that b a that is a b is 10 so it means that a e should be 10 minus this x right 10 minus x 
that is for AE. So let's clean this to avoid confusion. Now let's write AE is 10 minus X divided by EB, which is X. Now let's solve this and get the value of our X, all right? If this is the first time you're seeing this amazing channel, click the subscription button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. Yes. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. If you're a returning viewer, a returning subscriber, thank you so very much. Now, you can turn in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch by the grace of God, okay? All right, let's continue. Now, let's cross multiply. Cross multiply. So, if we do that, we have 5 multiplied by... 10 minus x is equal to 2 multiplied by x. Now we have, let's open the bracket, 5 times 10 is 50. 5 times minus x is minus 5x is equal to 2x. Now let's transfer this to this side. 50 is equal to 2x plus 5x. 50 is equal to 7x. Now let's divide both sides by 7. So we have 50 divided by 7 is equal to 7x divided by 7. So this we divide itself, we have x is equal to 50 over 7. Now, that is the value of our x. x is equal to 50 over 7. Now, why do we need the x? Because we need this side, this AB, this AE, and this BD. You are going to see why. So, our x now is equal to 50 over 7. That means that BE is 50 over 7. So, permit me to clean this. So, x is equal to 50 over 7. Now, AE will be 10 minus x, right? So let's clean the board and solve AE. So AE is equal to 10 minus x. So AE is equal to 10 minus 50 divided by 7. So this is over 1. Now, AE is equal to, let's make the LCM is 7, right? When 1 divides 7, we have 7. 7 times 10 is 70. Minus, when 7 divides 7, we have 1. 1 times 50 is 50. So, AE is what? 20 over 7. Yeah. So, let's write that. AE, 20 over 7. Now, why am I doing this? We are very close to our solution. Remember that our intention is to get CE and ED. Then we add them together to get our CD that was requested from us. All right. Now, let's draw out triangle ACD. So, if we do that, this is what we have. Let me clean this so that I have enough space. So let's draw out triangle ACD. So this is A, this is C, and this is E, right? Now from here to here is 2. Uh, AE is 20 over 7. This is right angle. And we need CE, right? By Pythagorean theorem, Pythagorean theorem. Now, this is our hypotenuse. So, the hypotenuse squared, 20 over 7 squared, should be equal to A squared, that is AC squared, which is 2 squared, plus CE squared. CE squared. Now, let's bring this to this side. If we do that, we have 20 over 7 squared 
minus 2 squared is equal to C E squared. Okay? If we solve for that, we have 20 squared is 400. 7 squared is 49. Minus 4 over 1, right? Is equal to C E squared. Now, the LCM of 49 and 1 is 49. 49 divided 49, we have 1. 1 times 400 is 400. 1 divides 49, we have 49. 49 times 4, permit me to use my calculator so that we do this faster. Okay? So 49 multiplied by 4 is 196 is equal to C E squared. Now, for 400 minus 196, we give us 204 over 49 is equal to C E squared. So let's take square root of both sides. So square root of 204 over 49 will give us C E right okay so square root of 204 is not is not a perfect square so let's try to find what is going to give us so 204 let's simplify if two divides this we have one zero and two when two divides this we have 51 so you can see that this is same thing as we pick one two it's going to be this is same thing as Square root, that means 204. Permit me to claim part of this. Okay. All right. So it simply means that we can write this as square root of, now 204 can be written as 4 times 51. 4 multiplied by 51 divided by square root of 49 is equal to C E. So this can be written as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 51 divided by square root of 49 is equal to C E. So square root of 4 is 2. So what we have is 2 root 51 divided by and square root of 49 is 7, okay? And this is our CE. So now we have gotten our CE as 2 root 51 divided by 7. Okay, now let's get our ED. Remember that once we get that, we add everything together and our answer is out, okay? Okay, now... Let's draw out triangle EDB. If we do that, we are going to have this. This is E, this is D, right angle, and this is B. So from here to here is our X. Remember, from E, B is our X, and our X is 50 over 7. So here is 50 over 7. And BD, BD is 5. So, ED is what we are looking for. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem as well, we are going to have, let me write this here, 2 root 51 over 7, okay? Now, using the Pythagorean theorem, we will say 50 over 7 squared is equal to 5 squared plus DE squared. Now, 50 squared is 2,500 over 7 squared is 49 minus 25, sorry, is equal to 25 plus DE squared. All right, let's transfer this to this side. We have 2,500 divided by 49 minus 25 is equal to DE squared. Now, let's all solve this. The LCM of 49 and 1 is 49, right? So, 
Now, 49 divide itself, we have 1. 1 times 2,500 is 2,500. Minus, where 1 divides 49, we have 49. Then 49 times 25. Let me use my calculator. We are going to have 1,225. Is equal to D E squared. Now, let's subtract 1,225 plus from 25. We have 1,275 divided by 49 is equal to d e squared. So, for us to get d e, that means that the square root of 1,275 divided by 49 is equal to our d e. Okay? Now, we are going to solve this to get what it's going to give us. So, we have 1, 2, 7, 5 divided by 5. Let's start with 5 first, okay? We are going to have 2, 5, 5. Now, let's use 5 again. We are going to have 51. So, you can see that 1, 2, 7, 5 can be written as square root of 25 times 51, okay? So I'll now write this as what? Square root of 25 multiplied by square root of 51, which will give us square root of 1275 divided by square root of 49. Okay? Yeah. And this is equal to DE. Now, square root of 25 will give us 5. Square root of 25 will give us 5. Let me clean this. We don't need it anymore. Sorry, this is root 51. All right. Square root of 25 will give us 5. So we have 5 root 51 divided by 7 is equal to DE. All right. So this is what we have. 2 root 51 divided by 7 is equal to DE. Now, remember that CD is CE, which is this, all right? CD is CE plus ED. So, it means that CD is equal to CE is 2 root 51 over 7. Plus ED or DE is 5 root 51 over 7. So, CD is equal to, they share the same denominator, right? So, we pick one. Now, we have 2 root 51 plus 5 root 51. So, CD will be equal to, these are what? Similar sorts. So, we just add their words, their coefficients. 2 plus 5 is 7. So, it's going to be 7 root 51, right? Divided by 7. Now, if you solve this, you can see that CD is equal to root 51. If you press this in your calculator, you are going to have an approximate value of 7.14 units, which is exactly what we got using the other method. Okay? Thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.